If you're looking for an outdoor folding camping table, I bought eight highly rated camping tables from Amazon. I'm gonna test each of these myself and see how easy it is to assemble for a first time user. I'm gonna be going over the pros and cons of each as well, and then letting you know which one I feel is the best for whatever purpose it serves. Everything in this video is purely my opinion based on the experience of using these products, which I'm about to do just in a second right now. So this is the Sportineer foldable camping table. And so with this in particular, it took me about a minute and 20 seconds to assemble just from looking at the manual and being with the first time user. I must say this table does sit pretty low. So I imagine it's good for like when you're sleeping on your cot and your tent on a sleeping bag. It does sit pretty low, okay? The legs do not extend. I do appreciate though how it does have an undercarriage compartment, but it's not the most durable, okay? It's just held by these little tiny hooks that you see right here. But again, for a personal camping table, it is very, very lightweight. Um, it does seem to be very sturdy. I'd say again, best purpose for it would to be for a side table of your solo camping. It's very, very quick, very, very light, easy to assemble and also disassemble. So as far as disassembling, you can see that the legs just sit within the table itself. So does the undercarriage. So simply you just unhook everything, all the sides off the table, close it up just like that. And also, by the way, it's also got a neat carrying hook, which I forgot to mention. Just place it in there. And then afterwards, you just reclip everything back on just like that. And just, it sits and carries like that. So unfortunately, it's not tube shaped. It does require probably hand to actually carry around on like a shoulder strap or something that you can just tie onto your backpack. You would actually have to hand carry this, I imagine. So this is the Monsider foldable camping table and this took me roughly a minute to assemble. So again, I've never assembled this before, first time user. So I'd say one thing I like about it are the four different cup holders that you see right here. Obviously you have the overhead top in which you can place some stuff. Unfortunately, because there's, it's like a nice soft shell top, it's not going to be the most stable if you're playing or if you're placing glasses on top. So any cans, bottles, cups definitely have to go within the cup holder. I do appreciate again how there is an under carriage beneath it. But again, it does feel pretty sturdy, but again, it is a soft shell. But with that, it took me about a minute. I'd say my, the only thing with this one in particular is that if it rains, I do imagine this is going to get pretty soaked. And of course, it would have to air dry. But for multi-purpose, it's a good height, okay? Even if I'm standing, placing things on top, it's not that far of a bend over of a reach for me to go down. But overall, it's a great height, multi-purpose. I'd say this is great for our families or basically young adults who are looking to have a few drinks, place them here, works perfectly just fine. So disassembled, this is very, very easy to put away. You basically got this carrying bag right here. The legs come in one piece. You just place it inside just like that. Afterwards, just zip it up just like that. And there you have it. Unfortunately, it does take up quite a bit of room just because it's like a half semicircle, but that's how it looks. You've got a carrying handle and it does shape into a form of a half semicircle. So this is the Portal Outdoor Foldable Camping Table. And so I must say, I absolutely love this one. The only thing I would actually not like is that it is quite heavy, but that's basically compensated because of the durability of it. So it actually looks like it's made of aluminum, which makes it very, very nice and weatherproof. As far as the assembly goes, this took me only about a minute and 30 seconds to assemble. Comes with this carrying bag, which you see right here, which can be used both as a carrying handle or a shoulder strap. But as far as the assembly goes, the legs are technically adjustable, but I did put it to the highest height. I don't think you'd want to put it any lower. So the legs, again, adjustable by these yellow clips that you see here on each leg. The top piece and the bottom piece, that counts as two pieces, okay? So this folding camping table comes as two pieces, which is the top piece that you see up here, and then the legs, which actually collapse once this comes off. And of course, another underseat carriage, which you see right here, it's not the most sturdy, nor is it the most durable, but I do appreciate how it is there. Just gives you more room for actually putting things on this table. But overall, it's actually a nice size, decent table. It's a decent height. It's durable. I feel like it is weatherproof. The only thing is that it is quite heavy. So this is the Campfield camping table for the outdoors. And so this one took me about five minutes and 30 seconds to assemble. So with this in particular, I'd say my biggest issue with it was actually assembling the undercarriage. So the undercarriage that you see right here, 
It looks great and all. It fits a lot of stuff on top and it's also got a one-sided inside compartment that you see in there. But I'd say this took the longest to actually assemble just for this undercarriage piece. So other things I like about it though, it do, I do feel like it is weatherproof resistant. Um, for the actual carrying of the table, if you could imagine, this top part is all one piece together with the legs. The legs fold in and then this collapses inside like that. So this piece that you see right here is actually what you're gonna carry. So this in half, okay? This from here to here is what you're gonna be carrying. So it's not the most portable. It is pretty flat. And also the undercarriage piece that you see right here, it does pack within the table as well. As far as the legs go, it is a nice, decent height. The legs are adjustable. So right now I have it at its highest height. I'm about 5'10". And so with it, it's a nice, decent height. It's nice and stable. The only problem that I have with it is the actual assembly of the undercarriage piece. That's what took the most time, but it's a great table overall. I'd say it's great for family parties, gatherings outside. And this is like a nice, neat place where you can put your food in so that the animals outside don't get it as well. So this is actually a neat, unique compartment that I don't see in most camping tables. All right, so for the undercarriage and disassembly of this table, you can see that the legs are folding in. The undercarriage I'm putting right here with the place boards on top and making sure that it's secure. And let's see if it actually closes within. And it surely does. Okay, so actually we're gonna lock it from the top here, just like that. And there you have it. So as I was talking about, this is what it's gonna look like when you're carrying. You do have to hand hold it. There's no shoulder strap, so it does occupy one hand, but it is a good multi-purpose table, right? So this is what it looks like. So this is the Mesocon table, and I must say this table was quite difficult to assemble, okay? So just to make sure it wasn't just me, I also had my friend assemble this table as well, and he said he also had difficulty, but this took me about two minutes and 40 seconds to assemble for a really small table like this. I was expecting to do this in less than 30 seconds, but for some reason, the legs were not locking in with the actual tabletop correctly, but eventually it did. But overall, you can kind of see the height of this table. It's not meant to be for like eating. It works well as like a side table or if you're sitting down. Definitely good for a solo traveler. It's very, very lightweight. This is the carrying case that you see right here. It comes in two pieces. You've got the top itself and the legs which collapse. And again, it's just a nice, decent table. I'd say it's quite sturdy, it's sturdier than the other kind of single tables which I've used. I'd say the only thing I didn't really like about it is the assembly part, which for some reason, it just took a while. The legs weren't just locking with the table at all. So this is the Ever Advanced Outdoor Camping Table. And so this one here took me about four minutes to reassemble. So it is quite a large table, okay? I'd say the one thing that took me the longest was actually strapping on these straps that you see down here. All right, just to keep the table sturdy. But again, the table is sturdy itself. As you can see, if the, the table, it's not exactly leveled. And the reason why is because again, there's straps underneath that hold the table down. So in addition to that, it's got six legs for even more durability or stability, I mean. But it's a nice sized table. I'd say the only thing is that the straps do have to be there to keep the table down, but those straps just take time. As far as the legs go to see if they're adjustable, unfortunately they're not. This is the height of the table. Um, it only goes up to one height, but it fits a decent amount of things on top. There is no undercarriage like we've seen in the other camping tables as well. And as far as the carrying goes, you've got a carrying bag, right? It does come in two pieces. So the tabletop itself is one piece and then the legs itself collapse together to form the second piece. And all of that fits into the bag right here, which has a shoulder strap and also a tightening strap. So this is the Ruramize Outdoor Camping Table. For a table this size, it only took about three minutes and 20 seconds to assemble. I really love the black design of it. It's a lot easier to assemble than the previous camping table, which we just reviewed. I do like how the table actually lays flat despite how long it is. And it actually locks in place instead of using Velcro straps. So underneath here, of course, we have another underseat carriage, which you see right here. Um, it does feel pretty sturdy, but overall, this is a great size table. I do wish that it was adjustable. So this is pushed up to its full length, which what you see here. Um, it comes in two pieces. You've got the tabletop itself. Sorry, actually three pieces. You've got the tabletop itself. You've got two bars, and then you've actually got the legs which collapse within. If you look up top here on the tabletop, you can kind of see that the panels move and such, but it's no big problem, okay? 
I'm fine with it. It does lay flat. It still works and functions as a table. You can fit a lot of things on top of it. But overall, it's a great table for group settings. So this is the Aduion camping table. And so as you can see, it's a more miniature size closer to the ground. So this is a great for solo single travelers. It's very, very lightweight, okay? It took me about two minutes to assemble. And what I appreciate about this table is that not only does it have a tabletop up top, but it also has an undercarriage, which you see down there, okay? An undercarriage is something I always appreciate. Um, overall, I really love the black design of it. Um, just comes in this little tiny carrying pouch here. I just wish that this carrying pouch did have a shoulder strap. Unfortunately, it doesn't, but nevertheless, it's great for single people, people at camping alone outdoors. It's foldable. I love the black design. And overall, I'd say that this is probably my go-to choice when it comes to solo travelers who want a lightweight, portable camping table.